When comparing the Tages and the JF-17, we step into the competitive world of light multirole fighters. The Tages, developed by India's HAL and the JF-17. A product of collaboration between China and Pakistan, each represent their nation's technological aspirations and strategic needs. Both aircraft offer distinct advantages and have been tailored to fulfill specific operational roles in their respective air forces. In this comparison, we'll explore their design philosophies, performance metrics, and technological innovations to understand how these fighters stack up against each other in the modern battlefield. The Tages MK-1, usually referred as the HAL Tages, is a light combat aircraft created for the Indian Air Force. It is a single-seat, single-engine, multi-role fighter aircraft, features a larger cockpit canopy, enhancing the pilot's outside visibility and facilitating better movement of their helmet. The JF-17 Thunder, known as the Block 3 variant, and stands out as a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft, resulting from collaborative efforts between China and Pakistan. Tailored to meet the demands of contemporary air warfare, the JF-17 has not only become a prominent asset within the Pakistan Air Force, but has also drawn international attention for its cost-effectiveness and operational prowess. Let's compare two fighter aircraft. The Tages measures 13.2 meters, 43 feet in length, whereas the JF-17 is slightly longer at 14.326 meters, 47 feet. The Tages stands at 4.4 meters, 14 feet in height, which is marginally shorter than the JF-17, which has a height of 4.57 meters, 15 feet. The Tages has a wing area of 38.4 square meters, which is significantly larger than the JF-17 wing area, which is of 24.43 square meters. The Tages is powered by a General Electric F404GE IN20 turbofan engine, generating 48.9 kN of thrust. In contrast, the JF-17 uses a Klimov RD-93 engine, which produces 49.4 kN of thrust. The Tages has higher maximum speed which is Mach 1.8, 2,220 km per hour. While JF-17 has a slightly lower maximum speed, which is Mach 1.6, 1,910 km per hour. The Tages boasts a ferry range of 3,000 km, 1,864 miles, which is shorter than the JF-17. It has maximum ferry range of 3,482 kilometers, 2,163 miles, with drop tanks. The Tages has a service ceiling of 15,240 meters, 50,000 feet, while the JF-17 can reach a higher service ceiling of 16,916 meters, 55,500 feet. The upgraded Tages Mark 1A aircraft features a larger cockpit canopy. Additionally, the air intake has been redesigned to supply faster airflow to the engine, enhancing performance. Modifications to the vertical radar in the tail section have been made to improve control during turns. Overall, these upgrades elevate the aircraft standards compared to previous versions, 
providing increased comfort and functionality. JF17 Block 3 integrates a sophisticated three-axis digital fly-by-wire flight control system, an infrared search and track IRSD system, and a collaborative effort in the form of a helmet-mounted display and sight system, jointly manufactured by Pakistan and China. The HAL Tejas entered operational service with the Indian Air Force in 2016, making its service history relatively young compared to the JF-17. As of 2024, the Tejas has eight years of service history. Despite its more recent entry into service, the Tejas has seen steady upgrades and increased deployments, with plans for future variants like the Tejas Mark II, which will further enhance its capabilities. The Tejas MK-1 has great maneuverability and agility. In combat with its delta wing design and tailless compound delta platform, it is equipped with a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons. JF-17 has a 16 years of service history, has demonstrated its development and operational capabilities. The JF-17 is positioned as a reliable alternative to the F-16, particularly in countries facing restrictions on F-16 acquisition. Functioning as a versatile, multi-role aircraft, the JF-17 excels in diverse missions, such as air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, and beyond visual range engagements. The latest Block 3 model of the JF-17 incorporates several updates to enhance its capabilities. The Tejas Mark 1A, a notable success, has garnered attention for its capability to carry various weapons and integrate advanced avionics. However, a significant challenge remains with the engine. Currently, India relies on foreign nations to provide engines for its fighter jets. To address this, India has made an agreement with GE engine makers for supply. However, supply chain issues have led to delays in engine delivery. As a result, HAL is considering an alternative, switching to the European Eurojet, which powers the Rafale fighter jet. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section.